so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We want to determine the equations of any asymptotes and then graph the function. Let's start by determining any vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the zeros of the denominator that are not also zeros of the numerator. So it's important that before we consider vertical asymptotes, we try to factor and possibly simplify our rational function. And notice in this example, we have a difference of squares in the numerator. So we have the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2 all over the quantity x plus 2. So notice how x equals negative 2 is a 0 of the denominator, but it's also a 0 of the numerator because x plus 2 is a common factor between the numerator and denominator. So we don't have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. We actually have a hole at x equals negative 2. So it is important that we try to identify any possible holes before we determine our vertical asymptotes. And notice how this function now simplifies to just x minus 2. So this graph is going to be the graph of the line y equals x minus 2, except it will have a hole at x equals negative 2. So because this graph is a line except for the hole, there are no vertical asymptotes. And there are also no horizontal asymptotes. So we're going to go ahead and graph the line and then make a hole at x equals negative 2. So we have a y-intercept of negative 2. Our slope is 1, or 1 over 1. So from our y-intercept, we'll go up 1, right 1. And we can do that again. So our line will pass through these points and will look something like this, except at x equals negative 2, the graph has a hole. So here's x equals negative 2. We'll go down to the function and make a hole. And now we have a complete graph of the given function.